Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a try on haul from Player's Closet. Now, if you don't know what Player's Closet is, it is a store that sells slightly used clothes for very good prices. And you can also take your own clothes, sell it, and get some money for it. All right, so the first item we're going to try on is this red, blue, and white collared shirt. It is from Forever 21 in a size 2X. I paid $8 for this shirt at Plato's Closet. It has a few buttons going down the middle, and it does have a little, it looks kind of like a tie end, um, and it is a bit shorter, so it is a bit of a cropped shirt. It is right here. It feels pretty nice. I mean, it's very slightly worn. You probably wouldn't be able to tell that much of a difference. So I think it's a pretty cute buy. So let's go ahead and try it on and let's see what it looks like. All right, guys. So here is the red, blue, and white striped shirt. So it is a bit like a cropped, like I told you guys. I'm just pairing it up with a pair of jeans and some blue earrings so it's pretty simple it's pretty casual you can wear it just with shorts too if you want it if it's pretty big it's cute it doesn't reveal too much uh, as you can tell it does have a band here so it doesn't just flow down it kind of stops uh, wherever your pants do as well so it is pretty cute just like a casual wear going out for brunch or lunch with your friends so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I give this one a thumbs up for the price and for how cute it looks all right so the next item that I have is this shirt right here it's super cute it looks like it's jean material but it's so soft all right it has a bit of a sleeve right here it doesn't go all the way down the arm um it is kind of like a three quarters of a sleeve and it has a cute little button on the back and it is also a bit cropped at the bottom i did pay ten dollars for this shirt and it is an extra large from the brand Style Envy. It doesn't have any designs. It's just a blue jean-like material. Let's go ahead and try it on and see what it looks like. All right, and here is the blue shirt. So like I said, the sleeves don't go all the way down the arm. They do kind of end right here. They are really flowy. This shirt is also a bit of a crop. So if you are wearing it, it would lift up a little bit, just like how it's doing with me. And overall, I mean, I don't hate it. It's not my favorite for sure. Just the way that it, it ends is a little bit awkward. Maybe if it had like a cute tie around it, I'm not sure. It's just a plain shirt to wear. I just don't know if it's one of my uh, favorite shirts. So there's honestly nothing really special about it. It's just cute, it's soft. So I think for this one, I'm not gonna give it a thumbs up because I'm not in love with the way that the shirt looks. All right, so this item right here is a little bit more serious. Um, as you can tell, it is a velvet material, which I love. It's so soft, right? Oh, I love velvet material. So it does have a bit of a high neck. It does not have any sleeves, so it's sleeveless. It has a high neck. It's a pretty plain shirt as far as no designs on it. I really like this shirt. I was thinking about wearing this shirt possibly in a professional setting, like for work, tucked in under some slacks. I think it would be pretty cute and professional. I did get this one in a large and i paid six dollars for this shirt so that's a pretty good price this shirt's from arizona jean company so let's go ahead and try this one on all right y'all so here is the sleeveless velvet shirt so i am pairing it with some work slacks so this is something that i would probably wear to work uh just because it is a little more professional looking depending on whether or not your job lets you wear sleeveless shirts so i probably would be wearing this to work just with a pair of slacks some boots or flats depending on what you like to wear it does have a slight opening at the top i love just overall the feel of velvet 
it's still pretty light and soft so i am liking this very much so i'm gonna go ahead and say that for the price and the way that it fits and feels i'm going to give this one also a thumbs up so this next one is actually one of my favorite uh, shirts that I bought from Plato's Closet. It's very simple. It's just a t-shirt. It is a bit of a crop top. It's right here from Polaroid. So I thought that was super cute. It is tie-dye, which I'm obsessed. This whole summer, I've just been obsessed with tie-dye things. So I'm so happy that I found this shirt. I only paid $6 for it, which is pretty great. It comes in a size 2X. So when it comes to crop tops, I like to size up so that they will have like a loose fit. All right, so let's go ahead and try this tie-dye shirt on. I usually like to wear these kind of crop tops for the gym so let's go try it on and let's see what it looks like here is the polaroid t-shirt as you can tell it's just a plain t-shirt tie-dye it does come a little bit higher so it is a little bit cropped i decided that this is going to be one of like my gym shirts so just with a pair of your favorite yoga pants it's super comfy it feels just like any normal t-shirt. I kind of like that they are second hand just because it's it has that worn out softness, if you know what I'm talking about. Like it's been worn, but it's not gross. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I like the way this feels. Um, although it is a 2X, it still fits perfectly fine. I love it, the design, the camera. I'm just in love with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and for this tie-dye shirt, it gets absolutely two thumbs up from me i love it it is one of my favorite even though it's just a simple t-shirt all right and that brings us to the last shirt from this plate of closet haul i only paid nine dollars for this shirt and i was pleasantly surprised how cheap it was for how cute it is it is from charlotte ruse in an extra large it does have a neck right here so as you can see it's it has a lot of openings everywhere so don't be freaked out just because it has a lot of openings it is super sexy this is perfect for a night out with friends and going out it has a plunging neckline in the front and the back is also open as well and it has a tie um in the back of the shirt so this will reveal part of the back and a lot of the front which i'm going probably to be accessorizing with something like a bralette since it will most likely show a regular bra through the shirt so this is a long sleeve so it does have the sleeves but they are cut in certain places so they are cut here on this part of the arm and also at the bottom so it does have a double cut opening making it super sexy and fun and this would probably be something i would wear out with my friends so let's go ahead and put this together and see what it looks like all right and here is the going out shirt like i told you guys it does have openings here on the sleeves they are full sleeves it does have a collar right here and a pretty deep cut down the front of the shirt. I decided just to pair it with a uh, plain black skirt as this is something I might wear if I went out. And I mean, it's nice, it's fresh, even though it is long sleeved, it, it's very airy. So you'll always be getting air through the open cuts of the sleeve so you won't be getting hot uh, while wearing this shirt. I love the collar. It just gives it like a little classy extra look and like I told you guys the back is a bit open. I'm wearing a black bralette. If you were probably wearing a normal bra, it might show through the shirt and I did uh, tie this to however tight I wanted it so you could have it a lot looser too if you wanted to show more back but I think this is pretty cute besides just the big deep neck if you don't like the big one uh, you can always just sew these parts together and it's not going to be as revealing but I really like it honestly I think this one is also going to be a thumbs up from me it's cute it's fun to go out in this outfit so I really like this shirt I'm gonna go ahead and say that this shirt is definitely a thumbs up for me 
I did want to do an honorable mention of items that I got from Plato's Closet that just didn't make it in the try on part of this video. I did purchase this shirt as well, the one that I'm wearing. I also purchase these Nike running shorts. So I only paid $12 guys for these shorts and they're in a size extra large. They're right here. And they have run in the back of them. So I'm probably gonna be using them whenever I work out. Another item that I also got from Plato's Closet, it's a Columbia jacket, an extra large. I only paid $23 jacket. It is a windbreaker jacket, which we know in the fall is gonna start raining again. So I was just preparing, plus I really like the color. So this is the Columbia ja uh, jacket, the windbreaker. And then the last thing that I also got from Plato's Closet, it is this really nice gym bag. So Plato's Closet not only sells clothes, they also sell accessories. So they can sell things like bags, purses, I've seen fanny packs, they sell shoes, jewelry they sell a lot of different things socks too so pretty much anything they also sell it so i got this really cute gym bag right here so i'm probably going to be using this whenever i go to the gym to put my towel water bottle if i need to take any kind of protein shakes clothes for after work whatever you need i just thought this little bag was super cute and super handy so that's probably what i'm going to be using this for and i paid 18 dollars for this gym bag thank you so much for sticking till the end to watch this video that were those were all the outfits from my plato's closet try on haul i hope you liked it if you did please go ahead and check out my other videos i do like to post different things i do have another swimsuit try on haul in my instagram as well as some beginner workout videos and i would love it if you guys went and watched them and just gave them a like all right guys i'll see you guys on the next one thank you so much bye can y'all see my dog sleeping in the background? She's literally been there the entire video, just like sleeping, passed out. It's the cat in the bag, aren't you? It's the kitty cat in the bag. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll let you play. Bye. <laughs> Gotta get the, all, all seven types of cat. Oh, yeah, right? All the